Look how muddy it is. Oh, dude. And of course, this is why I have elevations to each enclosure. This is all dry, including their house. But just like over here, and they choose to walk in it, of course, because they're pigs, but it's just so muddy. What is going on, Throws? Welcome back to another video. What's up, Lady May? What's up, Lady May? Hey, Mango. You're not sleeping this time. I'm surprised. If you didn't know, I'm very stoked about my new feed bins. I had gotten metal feed bins, but these things do leak. And I saw a couple comments saying you have to seal them because they will still actually bring in humidity and ruin all of your food. That's a fact. So if you ever buy a metal feed bin, make sure you seal it. So I finally sealed all the little holes with flex spray and uh, no more humidity. Look at that food. It just looks amazing. Here, Boots, get some. There you go. <laughs> Hey, buddy. What's up, emus? Let's open up your feed bin here. There you go. It's crazy to me how they literally just grab the food and toss it back. No chewing involved. Just grab and toss. Grab and toss. One of the craziest birds I've ever had. Look at those feet. Dinosaurs. Things are going well here at the farm, Gaferos. Today is finally the day, though, that we fill up our new saltwater pond. My motion detection on the goats. I know they're awake, I see them. Again, today is the day. It's finally the time that we fill up the saltwater pond officially and hope for no leaks. I want you to go down in the comments down below though and comment whether you think there's going to be a leak or not. Comment down below. In today's video, we're gonna figure that out, whether it leaks or doesn't leak. And if it does leak, we're gonna need to fix it ASAP because we're figuring it out in this video. Stay tuned and enjoy. Test fill number one. Test fill number one. I'm scared. I don't know what I think. I'm terrified. Water, do us all a favor and do not. That right there might be our worst nemesis. I mean, I think we did a pretty good job though. Holy smokes, dude! Oh! Look over here, Mimi. What is that? What is that? Look how clear it is, bro. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna cut all this silicone tomorrow and do a better seam right here. No leaks? Nothing, no leaks. Wow. We've got at least- I'm proud of us. We've got at least like 15,000 pounds of water in here right now. I'm trying to look and see where this might be coming in from and it's barely a leak because it's literally only this much water. Um, there's just a little bit of water sitting right here. It's not even actually going down into this crack at all. It's just a little bit of water, like the tiniest little mount right here. And that is in this front window to the right. So I believe there's some sort of leak, if I'm not mistaken, right here in that corner. See the water dropping? It's coming out from right there. But just from something just like this, that calls it off right now. I'm gonna cut the water off. Cut the water off right there. But I'm honestly stoked with that. That's a really good start. I mean, it's only halfway full. What I'm gonna do is empty this out. After emptying it out, I'm gonna do another bead of silicone on the outside here. And I'm even gonna go back into the window and do some more work on the inside of this window here. Like right down in here and do some silicone work right there and over here. I'm telling you, not a single leak over here, which is great. And only a little bit one right here. I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot worse. I'll take it. Very slowly, boom, right there. These pool pumps are key. If you own ponds, aquariums, whatever, definitely you gotta have yourself a pool pump. Doing big water changes and stuff, I don't know what the heck I would do without these things. Ready? Boom! She is a ripping. ready? Bam! And there we go. And this is why you don't get the salt truck first. Couple test fills. I was honestly expecting something like this. I wasn't hoping for it, but I was expecting it. And uh, that's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be, so. We're gonna figure this out right now. We're emptying out this pond, a lot of water. My electric bill was like 1200 bucks last month, but it's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. It's all gonna work out. No leaks over here, right? This is bone dry, bone dry. Now that one's, that one's mm. draining the water. It's coming out right now. It's, uh, it's twerking for us. So let me give you an example of the leak, ready? See it start coming out now that I had blew everything off. See it right there? Oh, you, it is so tiny. And then it fills up right there and doesn't go anywhere from there. And that's new because I was in here this morning as we filled this thing up and that was not there yet. So it must've just got through. I wouldn't even count that as a leak. It's a leak, okay, it's a leak, but that's an easy fix. I'm only gonna drop the water uh, down past the bottom of the window there. Coming up the silicone so I can do that final layer. 
These are like little fishing lures right here. <laughs> We're cocked up and ready to go. No pun intended, get it? Cocked up. Well, actually this is silicone, so that, ignore that. If you look along the edges, all the silicone is completely cut flat. I'm gonna do another layer on the outside of this, literally run a perfect bead around all this, and then I'm gonna go inside the pond and do a little bit more in there. Now to make sure it gets in there, I'm just gonna kind of push these beads down up in it. Might not be the cleanest, but at the end of the day, it's filling in that gap. Looking good, that's where the leak was. That looks pretty dang good from the outside. And then we'll do some work on the inside too. And now we're about to do the exact same thing for this window right here. That window's completely done. I'm gonna show you the after here in just a second. I am filming on my iPhone, totally by myself, just going at it. And that right there is totally siliconed all around. As you can see, every single bit of this window from the outside is now silicone. And we can always clean it up later once it dries. Bottle number two of silicone. Loading up. Just literally second coating everything that has silicone. There was a slight leak in this corner here. I have recoated everything in that corner with silicone. I'm gonna do another layer. How'd you even know there was a leak? I'm hitting this. It just started leaking. How else would I know there's a leak, Tay? Eh? You saw it leak? I saw it freaking leaking. <laughs> Boom! And guess what? Two days later, we are back exactly where we were just a few days ago where the leak was happening. The water is as high as it's ever been right now. It didn't even get this high last time before I had to just drain it because of the leak. And let me tell you, I have some great news. Take a look around here, this entire thing. Doing this outer seal right here of silicone really changed the game. This looks amazing. Once the rock is on the outside of the pond too, we're gonna do that beautiful white rock. It's gonna look so good. Most importantly though, over here, if you look in the corner where we had the leak, that is just old epoxy, that's not water. There is no leaks, not a single drip of water. Not a single drip, the whole way down. And it looks good, like I honestly did a great job sealing it. I'm impressed, I'm, I'm proud of myself. And on the inside, it was like triple coated as well. As you can see, lots of silicone, I mean, we're good. There's not a single leak. If you look behind the pond, there's no water coming out from anywhere. This pond looks so epic. Look at it from over here. Don't fall in, Paul. Holy goodness. I love the shape of this pond, though. It gives it some character. I don't think I've ever been this high. I have to literally reach across. What if I just fell back right here, right into the pond? We should do that one day. <laughs> yeah, no, probably not. We don't have any leaks. No leaks. We're looking good. Keep in mind, we're still like 75% of the way filled, so we still have another 25. We'll know for sure once we get over these windows. To all you people that commented there was gonna be leaks, I saw a lot of you. Look at, look at here. Um, no, we did have a leak. Y you were right, you were right, honestly, you were right. But now it's fixed, it's fixed. No more leaks. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. We're gonna keep on filling and see if any leaks pop up on the way up. Take a look at this, I am a magician. See that water? We changed shirt colors somehow, <laughs> and it's full. The pond is full. The water is green because my filter is shot from using this so much water. Doesn't matter that it's, it's actually pretty clear, not gonna lie, it's, it's actually very clear. You can see all the way to the bottom. It doesn't matter because it's just a test fill. We don't wanna go get a whole truckload of salt water if there's a leak. So we're gonna leave this overnight. We're gonna leave a mark right where that water line is. There we go. And that's where the water line was. We'll see where it's at in the morning. Oh wow, huh. looks about the dang same to me if you ask me. So that's the mark I initially had, I actually got it even closer to the water, over here, and it hasn't dropped at all. The water's just settled obviously, that has not moved, especially it's been like literally 10, 15 hours. It didn't leak at all. We did it baby! Yeah! No leaks. Brenton, I wish you were here to celebrate. Brenton, FaceTime. What the f 
Last night, we also started hanging a bunch of fan art. If you guys have any sort of fan art that you would like to donate to the fish building, make sure you send it on one of these little canvases because it definitely will rot if you don't. It cannot be paper, it's gotta be the canvas. I'm gonna be hanging up all of your stuff. The P.O. Box's location to send to is in the description down below. This looks awesome, like so cool. I wanna fill the whole wall. I wanna fill all this with these. I'm going to pick up some more from my mom's house later today. I'm gonna hang those. So if you've sent them in the past, I probably still have those at my mom's house. If they're on a canvas, they'll probably be up here. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? The pond has no leaks. You know what that means. We have a couple more steps to get to the finale here. I've got my filtration, I've got the pump. We've got our protein skimmer over here as well. This thing is monstrous, two feet in diameter. This is going to sit over here. There'll be a platform there. It's gonna sit on top of that, this tank. The lights are off right now, I just got in here. This tank I'm gonna actually move over and put it over there. Skimmer is gonna be on top of that. Underneath we'll have just storage for this tank because we need storage. We Storage is key. And same thing for this side over here. I don't know whether I'm gonna keep the filter down here. It's gonna be a little bit harder to access. So if not, there'll be a platform here, filter on top, and then storage down beneath. Of course, like I had mentioned to you guys, once filtration and everything's going, we could do the rock wall on the outside of this entire pond, just like the front pond. This wall right here, just like this. But comment down below what color you think I should do and what will look the best over in there. I can't wait to get that front pond back up and running. I've already received the whole like literal 30 by 40 liner. It's a blue liner this time, not black. So we'll be able to see inside of that pond so much better. All the koi fish and goldfish. These are the goldfish that I rescued out of the mud pond in the back. And all those are gonna go in there too. It's gonna be our colorful pond. Sponsored by nextdaykoi.com. They ship next day, it's like Amazon Prime with live fish. The link's down in the description, get 10% off. Can you believe it though? What can I say? Thanks so much for watching this entire series. Up to this point at least, we still have a couple more videos to go, as you know. Of course, wood on top here to finish it all off eventually. This is gonna be epic. Sharks, groupers, eels, Stingrays, hopefully. Hopefully all this happens. Let me know what you think I should get once this is salt water and it's got like a cave in it. Like I said, I appreciate you all so much for watching, subscribing, smashing the like button every video. I couldn't do any of this without you. And I hope to see you right back here in the very next video. Peace. Thank y'all so much for tuning in <laughs> to this video.